Hello and welcome to the Power Bank Expert YouTube channel. Today we're going to be unboxing the AOHI MagCube 30,000 mAh Power Bank. Thanks for joining in and let's start by having a look at the box and see what information we can gather from it before taking a look at the items inside. So on the front of the box we can clearly see the company logo, the large image of the power bank that uh, we'll be finding inside, product name here and then some more information about its charging capability. So it comes with PD compatible charging, so this is a fast charging technology. It can deliver up to 100 watts of power and it, the fact that it has two charging ports and which we can see right here. On the side of the box we can see the product name again. Here we don't have nothing. Here we have the product name again. Here is a blank one as well. But on the back side, we have some more information about it. And the first one is the fact that it comes with a gallium nitrate charging technology, which is a fast charging technology that enables the power bank to deliver more power, but in the same time, keeping its size and weight down. So this power bank using the gallium nitrate technology is able to deliver more power than an average uh, power bank with a smaller uh, size and weight. And this is quite important when it comes to especially travel and the charging ability of the power bank. It also has a three-stage charging technology. It's not really clear what that means. Then we can see that it comes with an 18-month hassle-free warranty. And here we have some more details about its charging features. Uh, we can see that it has a 30,000 milliamp power capacity and the equivalent of that in watt hour is 108 watt hour. Now this is very important to take note of because uh, the limit imposed by the TSA of uh, batteries that you can bring on planes is a maximum of 100 uh, watt hour. And between power banks between uh, or batteries between 100 watt hour and 160 watt hour need a special permit before being able to be taken on a flight. Anything above 160 watt hour is forbidden for from being uh, taken on board planes. So this power bank falls into the category of those batteries that need a permit before being taken on planes. So please make sure to know this before purchasing this power bank. Of course, you can risk it sometimes when you take a flight, uh, the security doesn't really check the capacity. So you might even go through with a larger capacity power banks, but if they do check and your power bank is over 100 watt hour and you don't have a special permit for, for that, then the power bank will get confiscated. So make sure to really know about this fact before you purchase this power bank. And then you have some more information about the charging ports. So we have a port that can deliver maximum of 100 watts of power, which is quite enough to charge almost any type of laptop besides the regular smartphones or tablets and whatnot. And then the other port can deliver a maximum of 18 watts of power. And when both ports are being used to charge the devices, the total amount generated will be 83 watts if they are used simultaneously. So they're lower in power delivery capacity when they're used in the same time. And then we have some more information here about dimensions and weight. Let's open the box and have a look at the items inside. So first off, we have the power bank here, but let's put it aside for now. And here we have a very small user manual with important information inside, like technical specification and a small guide of how to start your power bank for the first time and how to use it. And then the same information in other languages. So that's the user manual right here. And here we have what I assume it will be the charging cable. And it's a USB type C to USB type C charging cable. And now let's have a closer look at the power bank. So right out of the box, we can see uh, on this uh, face, the big company logo, it has a black plastic, hard plastic stripe. And then uh, this side is made out of metal, a metal alloy. And then uh, let's look at the sides of the power bank. 
Here we can see some information about charging features and then some information about the producer. On this side, there is nothing to see. Here we can see the power uh, button and then the LED indicator lights, which will show you how much of the capacity the power bank has. And this one lights up three out of the four lights out of the box, which means that it has up to 75% of the capacity charged. And here on, on this side, we can see the two ports. Uh, the first one is a USB input and output port. So it's a dual function port. You can both charge the power bank with it and charge our other devices. And then we have a USB type C output port as well. And the, both ports can be used to charge two devices at the same time if needed. On the back side of the power bank, we can see the power bank's name, MacCube P30, which designates the fact that it has 30,000 milliamp hour capacity. Now, this capacity is rather large, so it will really uh, help you out for uh, quite a number of days especially if you're using it just to charge your smartphone for example but this is a power bank that can easily charge some more power hungry devices such as laptops so uh, if you have a laptop that can be charged using a usb type c port then this power bank is definitely a solution for that it can provide you plenty of charge for your laptop as well but as mentioned while uh, looking at the box uh, the fact that this power bank has a 30,000 milliamp power capacity this also needs uh, your attention especially if you're planning to fly with it you can take it on board of planes but you definitely need to have an approval you need to ask uh, the approval of the airline before flying with it in terms of build quality it seems to be a very well put together power bank uh, made out of two different materials, a hard plastic and a metal alloy. The edges are grooved, which make it easier for you to grasp the power bank and carry it or pick it up from some surface. Also, it's pretty light, especially given the um, 30,000 milliamp power capacity, which is quite a large capacity. So for that capacity, it's lighter than expected power bank, I would say. And maybe this is due to the gallium nitrate technology that allows it to produce large amounts of power output, but in the same time using a smaller, a smaller size and a smaller weight as well. For me, this looks like a more of a urban type of power bank that you would carry in a backpack and then you would charge uh, your devices for days at a time, smartphone uh, or laptop or tablet or what you may have. Although you can also use it for camping trips and in the outdoors, uh, you should know that you will need in that case to take a little bit of uh, better care of it because it's not waterproof and also it doesn't really seem to feature a shock proof shock proof features as well. So I think that you could definitely take it uh, for camping and whatnot, but it's not a doesn't look like a power bank that would really take a beating in the outdoors but if you just use it for um, day to day life for commuting having it in your backpack for music festivals things like that then definitely this is very good fit especially given the fact that it has this vast vast capacity so there you go this was the AO high uh, 30,000 milliamp power power bank thank you for joining in today and looking forward to seeing you in one of my future videos. Goodbye.